it's only here for your past is a gift. Okay, so I just had a moment about talking about this broken idea when people say I'm broken. Okay, um, what you need to you know think about? We were talking about the adults around you when you were a child. Okay, and you're growing up. They handed you this bucket and they filled it up with pain. Okay, instead of love. They filled it up with pain. That's all you've known, okay? And so in your mind, you're broken because you can't be loved, okay? You can't be loved. It's just in your mind. That's it. You're broken. It can't be fixed. You can't be fixed. You can't be loved. You're not good enough, okay? These are all the thoughts that create all of that. So what I wanted to talk about in this one is that the day you realize you know, you go back and you look at that child. You look at that situation, no matter how painful it was, okay? You go back and you look at it, because I've had to do this many, many times throughout my journaling to create this book. You look at that little child, five, six, seven, whenever you started to feel, okay? All this pain, all this pain was created. When it, when it started, go back to that child. Go back and look at that child. And... The moment you understand that you always deserved to be loved, that you were always good enough to be loved, okay? These adults around you, they were doing the best that they could. Given what they've already been through, they were doing the best that they could. This is so important to understand. It's easy to keep pointing the finger at them and say, you didn't love me. You couldn't love me, therefore I'm broken. You know, we're already addicted to that. We're already addicted to that negative feeling of being unwanted, okay? And you can keep living that. You can keep living that way, you can, but you're never gonna be free. And the first step I found for me, the first step was to look at that child that I was, and to say, you do deserve to be loved. You've done nothing wrong. You're an innocent child. You deserve nothing but love. You deserve nothing but to be hugged by that parent that couldn't love you. You are enough. You were enough, just as you were, without having to achieve anything. You know, because in my mind, as I was growing up, I was constantly feeling that I had to achieve to get my mum's approval. You know, I had to do well at school. Not just well, but I had to be the best in my class, always. You know, got to year six, ended up being school captain. You know, and then I got to a point in my life where later the depression that set in was, it felt like it was never enough. Whatever I did was never enough. You know, she was never going to love me and there was nothing that I could do about it. In my mind at the time, that's how it felt. That's what I was thinking. That's the place that I was in throughout my teenage years. I got to 17, 18, 19 and those were my, that's what was going through my mind. And I'm thinking, why am I even bothering to be here if I'm not wanted? What was the point? So, that's what I want you to start looking at today. You know, that that little child that was abused, that was unwanted, that was mistreated, in whichever way it was, okay, was invisible. You know, the adults around them, too busy with their own junk, throwing junk backwards and forwards at each other, you know, constantly fighting, that this poor child just becomes completely invisible. Nobody even notices they're there. They have to go and lock themselves up in a room and put the music on full belt in headphones so they don't have to hear the fighting. That child, that child deserves to be listened to, deserves to be loved. And it was never your fault that you weren't. It was never. You didn't need to achieve. You didn't need to be the top of your class to win that parent's approval. You didn't need to be school captain. And I'm talking from my point of view. 
I didn't need any of those things for my mum to love me. You should be loved for who you are, straight up, just because you were given to these people. You were a gift to these people. There are so many couples that try and have children and can't have them. They just can't have them. You were given to these people as a gift that they may, that their heart may open up, even for a split second, to see the wonderful gift that you are, to be able to give you the love that they never received. But so many people miss that. So many people miss that, that that's what a child is for. That opportunity to be able to love something more than you can possibly love yourself. To love something that you would sacrifice your own life for them. To protect their life. That is an absolute gift. And that so many adults have children and they don't get it. They don't see it. They miss it. And I promise you it's not your fault. You were given to them as a gift. And they didn't know what to do with it. So today I want you to think about that. That you were a gift. You still are a gift. But the original, you know, gift that you were meant to be, they didn't know what to do with it. You know, it's like being given something and you just don't know how to use it. You get a gift for Christmas. Say I get an iPad. And I don't even know what to do with it. It'll just sit there on my desk. What a waste. You know? All this wonderful technology that you can look up anything on the internet. And it'll be just sitting there. I have no idea what it does, how to use it, what it's for. Someone gives it to you like it's the most wonderful gift, but if you don't appreciate it, if you don't know what it's for, it means nothing. But you were always a gift. I want you to always remember that. You were always a gift. And if that gift was not appreciated, that was never your fault. Ever. Okay, my darlings? You're not broken. The day you start to realize that that child deserved all the love in the world, that that's what you were brought here for, to teach others how to love. When you realize that, you'll be able to, you know, spill out all that pain from that bucket, and you'll be able to start filling it up with love. Love for yourself. When you can start doing that, when you can start loving that child and realizing that there's nothing wrong with that child. Then you can start, you know, loving others, letting others in. Right, my darlings? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.